Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we had discussed about the different number systems that are available and we use them most commonly. So just take a quick recap before we get started with this interconversion from decimal to binary. So in the last video, we had discussed that there are basically four number systems. First one is essentially decimal number system and the other three are binary whose base is 2, octal with base 8 and hexadecimal with base 16. And we have the digits or letters used in those three systems. So now today we will see interconversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal. So let's get started with decimal to binary conversion. Suppose we have the first number as 156. Now this 156 is a decimal number. As you can see, the base written is 10. So this 156 is a decimal number and we want to convert that into binary. So how shall we do that? So as we know that base of binary number system is 2. So we will divide this decimal number. I mean, we will uh, keep on dividing this decimal number until we get the remainder, remainder as either 1 or 0. So let's see how we go on. Now we have 156 and we need to divide that by 2. So quotient is 78 and remainder is 0. So we write the quotient over here and the remainder add and we write the remainder adjacent to the number. Now again we divide 78 by 2. So 2 into 39 gives 78 with remainder 0. Now we divide 39. So 2 into 19 gives 39 but there is a remainder 1. Now 2 into 9 gives 19 and remainder 1. 2 into 4 gives remainder 1. 2 into 2 is 4 with remainder 0. So we write a 0 adjacent to this 4 over here. 2 into 2 gives 4, remainder 0 and 2 into 1 gives 2. So over here we get a remainder 1 right at the end. So it is the same remainder that we are writing. We are writing this particular 1 which is not actually the remainder, it is actually the quotient. Quotient that we obtain upon dividing 2 with 2. So don't get confused. Now whenever we want to convert now we have this uh, series with a sequence of remainders so how do we use them to represent a binary number so it's pretty simple we just write start writing the binary number with the bottommost number at the leftmost side so as you can see in this picture there is an arrow that goes from bottom to top direction therefore we write it as 1 0 0 one 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 zero zero. As you can see over here, one zero zero triple one zero zero. So this is the binary equivalent of one fifty six that was in decimal number system. Let us see some more examples. Over here we have a simpler number. The number is twenty nine, and we want to divide it by uh, sorry, we want to convert it into binary number system. So we start by dividing it with dividing it, it with 2 so 29 divided by 2 is 14 remainder 1 14 divided by 2 is 7 remainder 0 7 by 2 is 3 remainder 1 3 by 2 is 1 remainder 1 1 by 2 obviously 0 and remainder 1 so the number is 11101 so 11101 is the binary equivalent of 29 Next is 41. Actually, it's a decimal number. It is 41.6875. So the number is 41.6875. And we intend to convert this decimal number or a floating point number into binary. So first of all, we convert this 41 into its equivalent binary. The process is same as before. We just divide it by 2. So 2 into 20 gives 41 with remainder 1. 2 into 10 is 20 with remainder 0, 2 5 is 10 0, 
two two is a four remainder one two one is a two remainder zero so the binary equivalent of forty one is one zero one zero zero one one zero one zero zero one now we have the decimal part that is zero point six eight seven five so how do we convert this decimal part into binary to do this what we do is we multiply this particular uh, decimal part that means whatever we have after this decimal point we keep on multiplying that with 2 until we get 0 after the decimal just in case you are unable to obtain a complete 0 after the decimal then you can end this process after multiplying it 5, five to 6 times that will be precise enough so let us see 0 0.6875 we multiply it with 2 to get 1.3750 now we just take this particular part that means the part which is after the decimal point and we multiply it with 2 we get 2 into 0 0 2 into 5 10 obviously so 0 1 is carried 2 into 7 14 plus 1 15 we get this 5 over here 1 is carried 2 into 3 is 6 6 plus 1 7 so we get a 7 so basically the number is 0 0.750 upon multiplying 0 0.3750 by 2 we get 0 0.750 now we multiply 0 0.750 with 2 and we get 1.50 now again we multiply this 0 0.50 with 2 and we get 1.0 now we end the uh, multiplication over here because we have obtained a perfect zero after the decimal point but if you get a different example and in that case suppose you are unable to get a zero after the decimal so you just perform the multiplication at least uh, five to six times and then you can end now this is one important part in this case what we did is we considered the binary number from bottom to top that is we used to write 101001 so that is perfectly fine when you want to write a whole number that means before the decimal whatever you assume you will take it from bottom to top but when you go after the decimal you have to take it from top to bottom that means whatever we obtained after multiplying this uh, decimal part we will consider only the integer perfect integer part of that particular result for example over here we had obtained 1.3750 so we will not consider the entire thing instead we will consider only this particular one and write it here in the next one we will consider this zero and write it over here then we get a one so write it here and this one so basically for the decimal part in order to convert this decimal part into binary we need to consider the top to bottom approach and to consider this whole number part you need to cons uh, you need to take the bottom to top until now we saw how to convert a number from decimal number system into binary number system now we will see just the opposite thing that means we will con convert a binary number into a decimal number so let us see how to do that suppose you have a binary number 11101 obviously base 2 you want to convert it into its equivalent decimal number so over here what we will do is we will take the positional weights so what we do is we start from the rightmost side that is, that is the rightmost digit and a number that one is 0 next one is 1 this is third sorry second this is third and this is fourth so the highest position that we have over here is 4 so we start writing it as 1 into 2 to the power 4 plus 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus as because we have a 0 over here so we'll write 0 into 2 to the power 1 and this is 1 and hence 1 into 2 to the power 0 so this 0 1 2 3 4 in the power or the exponent part is nothing but the position of the binary digits over here or the bits 
So 2 to the power 4 is 16. 16 into 1 is 16. 2 to the power 3 is 8. So we write in 8 over here. 2 to the power 2 is 4. 0 into 2 to the power 1 is obviously 0. 1 into 2 to the power 0 is 1 into 1 or 1. Now we sum it up and after summing we get 29. So 11101 in binary number system is equivalent to 29 in the decimal number system. Let us take one more example. In this example we have a De, uh, binary number with a decimal point so the first part of this number is the conversion of first part of this number into a decimal number system is obviously the same let us focus on the second part in the second part we have the first digit that we have after the decimal point is numbered as minus one and the next is obviously minus 2, after that is minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So over here we have only 2 digits after the decimal point. So we write only minus 1 and minus 2. Now how do we convert this one into equivalent decimal? It is pretty simple. What you do is you write it as 0 into 2 to the power the position of this one. That means the position of this 0 is minus 1 so we write 0 into 2 to the power minus 1 for the next number that is for the next digit you have 1 so the position of this 1 is minus 2 so we write 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 and obviously the digits before the decimal remain the same that is 1 into 2 to the power 3 0 into 2 square 1 into 2 to the power 1 and 0 into 2 to the power 0 so that part remains the same and we just add this extra part that is after the decimal 0 into 2 to the power minus 1 is 0 obviously and 1 into 2 to the power minus 2 is 0 0.25 so we add up this entire thing to get 10.25 as the result so the uh, decimal equivalent of 1010.01 is 10.25 that is all for this video and in the next video we shall see decimal to octal and the vice versa. Thank you.